the 30th Chief Philippine National Police for his inaugural speech. Ladies and gentlemen, Police General Romel Francisco Di Marbil. Uh, Troop Commander, uh, please give uh, Tika Spina. Tika! Our Excellency uh, Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., Sir, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, with our Chief Justice uh, Lucas P. Bersamin, our Executive Secretary, Attorney Benjamin uh, C. Abalos Jr., our Secretary for the ILG, and the outgoing uh, Chief PNP, uh, my classmate, General Acorda. To other esteemed guests present today, my fellow Pinipinos, magadang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Ang pangarap ko ay pangarap nyo rin. Patatag na ekonomiya, maayos na lipunan, at maayos na kapulisan. Yan po ang unang kataga na sinabi ng ating Presidente during the inauguration. Ang masasabi ko po sa anyong Excellency, Sir, matutupad po. First, my deepest gratitude goes to our Almighty God for the blessing with this opportunity to serve my beloved country and fellow Filipinos. I'm truly grateful to our President, Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., for the honor you bestowed upon me today. Thank you, sir. By entrusting me with this significant responsibility, thank you for your trust and confidence in me to lead the Philippine National Police. And I assure you that all dedicated members of the PNP stand ready to work tirelessly with you to drive real change toward achieving the collective vision of a bagong Pilipinas. Honorable Secretary Benjamin Abalos Jr. of the Department of Interior Local Government, Sir, thank you for your commitment and support to the PNP. To Police General Benjamin Acorda Jr. on behalf of the officers, staff, and women of the Philippine National Police, Sir, thank you for your leadership, loyalty, and dedication and service. My family, especially my beloved wife, Rose, our daughter, Robin, who is at the heart of both our joy and pride and inspiration, my parents, Milano and Felicitas Marbil, and my brothers, thank you so much for your unconditional love and support. Rose, I know that it is not easy being married to a policeman. I remain ever so thankful for your unselfish love and understanding taking care of our family when I am away on missions and assignments. You are the, the true anchor of our family. This year, 2024, is my 33rd year of service in the Philippine National Police. Throughout the years, I have witnessed the enormous amount of change that our society has undergone and the rate of speed in which these changes have occurred and are occurring. These present-day social and techno technological changes have an enormous influence and impact in policy. The growth of public infrastructure has led to greater accessibility and enhanced mobility with tools of instantaneous communication, visual and audio, including social media. Many Filipinos are able to communicate their content and discontent their needs and expectations of good and respons responsive public service on both the national and global stage. We are also seeing new forms of criminal criminality evolve wherever there is an opportunity to exploit the weaknesses that advancement brings. The dynamics of society in which we operate are changing and with it, it, and with it our scope of responsibility are evolving. Yet, despite all this, our goals and duties as law enforcers remain absolutely and irrevocably the same. The Philippine National Police has seen noteworthy progress and benefited from the vision, leadership, and achievements of my predecessors throughout the years. As the 30th Chief of the Philippine National Police, it is my intention to build on the strides made so far to ensure that there is both continuity and improvement 
that the PNP remains effective at its job while evolving to become a modern Filipino police force for a modern Filipino society. To increase our effectivity as an organization and as individual law enforcers, we will focus on three things. First, the quality of leadership, knowledge and ability, and professionalism within the ranks. Second, expanding our ability to uphold the law, maintain order, and fight local and transnational crimes in all forms and manifestations. To this end, we commit to utilizing the best and innovative practices in law enforcement. And third, but not the least, we will strive to increase the level of trust that the people we protect have in us. We will focus on increased community satisfaction in our work as a key benchmark of our progress. We will work on enhanced partnerships with the local community because safety and order ultimately require our collaborative efforts. I am therefore committed to ensuring that each and every member of the Philippine National Police, including future recruits, will be supported in developing, improving, and refining the skills that are needed in our line of work and for your career and progression as law enforcers. More than ever, we need officers possessed with critical thinking and problem-solving skills to address the many unique situations that arise, and in particular, to become catalysts for the changes we need in the organization, to become better and more efficient at what we do. We need officers who can communicate with public well, display empathy, and conduct themselves at all times responsibly, ethically, and morally. We need officers who recognize that it is simply not enough to act decisively, relentlessly, and fast in the war against crime, but that there must be also be accountability and transparency on our end. And most importantly, we will nurture police officers to whom a human approach to law enforcement is a given. Investing in you is an investment in the future of the Philippine National Police. Remember, to the, the PNP, you are your, your mentors, teachers, trainers, and leaders by example. To the incoming generation of police officers who will one day take our place. With our president's call for Bagong Pilipinas, the Philippine National Police has the unique opportunity to re-envision many of its management and operational approaches. We will be looking at the infrastructure and membership of this organization critically, employing a holistic approach to assess and determine ways by which we can increase effectivity, efficiency, and productivity throughout the 17 police regional offices, 102 provincial and city police offices, and 1,824 city and municipal police stations that spread across the 17 regions of the Philippines. There will be emphasis on developing and improving, improving competen competencies and compliance, optimization of resources, responsible cost allocations, el elimination of redundancies, increased safety and well-being of police officers, and adoption of systems and processes that will facilitate positive and su sustainable changes. Leadership by example will be the backbone of our operational motto as we continue the fight against illegal drugs, domestic crime and violence, organized crime, human trafficking, radicalization, violent extremists, terrorism, cybercrime, and other transnational and non-traditional security challenges. We shall place utmost importance on pol police community engagement, working together in reducing crime through education, community partnerships and policing, and the use of emerging technology and social media. As we put transformative policies in place, we shall also seek for the seamless alignment with other Philippine government agencies for collaborative undertakings when and where necessary. We shall aim to have shorter lines of communications, improve coordination and readiness, as well as clearly defined parameters of tasks and responsibilities. Furthermore, in our role as international partners of law enforcement agencies, 
for other countries fighting transborder criminality and terrorism, we shall be vigilant and uncompromising in using all means at our disposal to stop these global threats from gaining a solid foothold in our society. The Philippine National Police recognizes that effective law enforcement nowadays requires competency and innovation in the use and application of technology to its overall operation and daily work. While I recognize that putting a comprehensive technology infrastructure in place is one of the major challenges for the PNP. I am confident that, that, that with careful management and selective priorities, we can achieve this goal in a timely fashion. To begin, we shall prioritize integrating the PNP secured mobile artificial intelligence driven and real time smart policing program and ICT development roadmap in our operations including an active drive to recruit and train a new generation of police officers and support staff with technical expertise and specialized IT skills. In closing, mahusay, matatag, at maaasahan na kapulisan. This is our promise and commitment to our country as we undertake the internal and external changes necessary to improve our services to you. Expect that your PNP will do its best to safeguard the community it serves because we understand how safety, peace, and order are intrinsically connected to economic growth and progress. Itataguyod natin ang isang ligtas na bagong Pilipinas, ligtas na tahanan, at ligtas na pamayanan. I look forward to my duties and I thank the President, our Secretary, and the PNP and the community in advance for their active participation and support in realizing a safe country for all. May God continue to bless all of us and give us strength and inspiration in the work we do. Dito, sa bagong Pilipinas, isa lang ang gusto ng pulis, ligtas ka. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you and congratulations, sir.